Do you have any of those little fleshy bumps hanging off of your skin? Usually they occur around your neck or in your armpits. These are known as skin tags, and sometimes they can seem to appear out of nowhere. Now a lot of people think that skin tags are caused by friction because of the areas they occur. But what if I told you the main culprit of them is actually the foods you're eating? Now like I said, they do often occur in areas with skin folds, but friction isn't actually to blame. A lot of people develop skin tags on areas that rarely experience rubbing, like their eyelids. So what's the real story? The answer lies in what we eat. Studies suggest a strong link between skin tags and blood sugar issues. People with frequent blood sugar spikes, including diabetics, are more likely to develop them. And as diabetes progresses, people tend to develop more and more. The reason is because frequent blood sugar spikes like this translate to high insulin levels. Insulin acts like a growth hormone in our bodies. When insulin levels remain elevated, this can trigger unwanted growth, including skin tags. So anything that can help us to manage blood sugar spikes, to experience less of them, means lower insulin, and this means skin tags will start to reduce and go away entirely. So let's get into four seemingly healthy foods that you might be eating, thinking you're making a good choice, but they can actually contribute to skin tags. Number four is oatmeal. This is a breakfast staple that is often seen as a healthy choice. But here's the catch. It's high in carbohydrates, with one cup containing anywhere from 25 to 35 grams. And these carbohydrates are broken down to sugar in our body, causing our blood sugar to go up. This sugar spike triggers an insulin release. So while oatmeal itself has little sugar, the carb content plays a big role. Now there are ways to make oatmeal a bit more insulin friendly. Pairing it with healthy protein and fat, such as Greek yogurt and eggs, this can help to slow down the digestion of carbohydrates, meaning less of a blood sugar spike and less insulin all at once. This can help a bit, but the same amount of insulin is going to be needed just over a more prolonged period of time. So if you want optimal blood sugar control, opt for a breakfast that's low in carbohydrates and higher in protein and fat instead. Think eggs, avocado, Greek yogurt, or even bacon. These will help to keep your blood sugar stable throughout the morning, less insulin is going to be needed, which is going to bring down your insulin levels overall, and help to reduce your skin tags. Number three, orange juice. Now it doesn't matter if it's store-bought or freshly squeezed, both can contribute to skin tags. You are better off eating the whole fruit versus drinking its juice. Unlike whole fruit, juice lacks fiber. This means it's digested more rapidly, leading to a big sugar spike and a spike in insulin as well. So instead of juice, opt to eat the whole fruit instead. And even better if you choose a low sugar fruit as well. This allows your body to digest the sugar more slowly, leading to better blood sugar and insulin control. Number two, whole wheat bread. We often believe that whole wheat bread is the better option to white bread. And while it does have slightly more nutrients, and I'm talking slightly here, the blood sugar and insulin response is only marginally different. If you're wanting to get rid of your skin tags, try to skip the bread altogether, or at the very least, reduce it. But I know this can be hard, because our modern diets are saturated with bread and grain products. Cereal, sandwiches, pizzas, pasta, they're everywhere. Reducing your overall bread and grain content can be extremely beneficial, not only for reducing skin tags, but for improving your overall health. And finally, number one, dried fruit. Now earlier in this video, I spoke about how eating whole fruit is better than drinking the juice of the fruit, and the same applies to dried fruit. Dried fruit has the sugar removed, so you're essentially just left with concentrated sugar. Now, some believe that natural sugar is better than processed sugar, but honestly, when it comes to the body, they're both processed the same way. So whether it comes to candy or dried fruit, a sugar rush is a sugar rush. So once again, try to skip the dried fruit and eat the whole fresh fruit instead. All right, so those are four foods that could be contributing to your skin tags, but what should you be eating instead? The key is to prioritize protein especially animal protein like beef, chicken, fish, and eggs. 
These proteins have minimal carbohydrates, meaning less sugar breakdown and a lower insulin response. So they're a better option than plant protein sources. And this is why I have my insulin resistant clients focus their meals around animal protein. And for my Australian clients, I always recommend shopping with Butcher Crowd. Butcher Crowd connects you with amazing ranchers and farmers across Australia. So you can get the freshest, most delicious meat and seafood delivered conveniently to your doorstep. Here's what sets Butcher Crowd apart. Their products are ethically sourced. They only partner with producers who raise their animals humanely and sustainably. They have incredible variety, from grass-fed beef and free-range chicken to wild-caught salmon and more. Butcher Crowd has something for every taste. And they have flexible delivery options. You can choose from a curated selection of boxes or customize your own with exactly what you need. Plus, they have offered viewers of my channel a special discount. If you use code KATE15 at checkout, you're going to save 15% off your first box. Support local producers, get amazing meat and seafood, and enjoy the convenience of home delivery. You can check them out by heading to healthcoachkate.com forward slash butcher crowd, and I will put that link in the description box down below as well. Now before I wrap up, I just want to say that while we did focus on four specific foods in this video, it's less about these exact foods and more about the high insulin response. You might have skin tags and not eat any of these foods, but what you are eating is also causing high insulin. So it's less about these specific foods and more about the principles that we spoke about in this video. So if you're looking to manage and reduce your skin tags, consider focusing on a diet lower in carbohydrates and richer in protein, especially animal protein. Now I want to hear from you. If you have skin tags, let me know in the comment section down below. If you eat any of these foods, have you noticed a connection between the foods you eat and your skin tags? Let me know down below. I love hearing from you guys. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys.